If you're listening to this on YouTube, this episode is one week delayed. Up-to-date tech show but friendly episodes are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or Google Podcasts. Welcome to Tech Show But Friendly. This is the podcast of Hardware Sugar and this is your host Anton. And I am happy to report that there isn't much news, meaning less work for me. And this has been sort of the prevailing theme for the last three episodes or so where there, you know, there's always hardware news but very little really interesting hardware news. So I could talk about how the RTX 4060 launch of NVIDIA was a disappointment, how everybody hated it, all the critics tripped over themselves to say that it's another overpriced offering from NVIDIA. I could talk about how I was wrong because I think I mentioned last week that the initial leak benchmarks for the 4060 were looking pretty good compared to the 3060. But the actual product we got the 3060 12 gigabyte version is usually a lot better value for money, especially if you can get it second hand. In straight up performance, the 3060 Ti usually outperforms the 4060, although the saving grace for the new card is that it does much better in terms of DLSS performance. And that's why it's a little tricky to give an all or nothing kind of summary about the NVIDIA cards. Because DLSS really matters a lot in terms of how well they perform. The problem is a lot of games, especially the older ones, don't have DLSS. Although really, if you're angling to play something like Dota 2, God of War, you really don't need to aim as high as a 4060. Another interesting note, at least kumpara natin dun sa mga sinasabi ng mga foreign tech YouTubers, $300 is overpriced for a 4060. But local prices here, even with the price drop of the 3060, brand new 12 gigabytes, it's still at around 19,000 pesos. So well over the $300 mandated or the $300 SRP for the new 4060. And it's kind of funny when, you know, it's the first world they're screaming bloody murder na sobrang overpriced ng mga Nvidia cards. And yet, it's us here in the third world na, let's face it, mas mahirap yung market natin. We're actually happy already when we get something close to that SRP. <laughs> Para bang baliktad na yung mundo eh. Yung mas kaya pa mag-afford because relatively, first world countries have a higher per capita income, of course, compared to countries like ours. Sila pa yung nagreklamo na sobrang mahal nito for what you get. And yet here, and yet here, Masaya na tayo. Oh, below 20,000 in 3060. Yay! <laughs> so the 4060 has been described as another FU to gamers from NVIDIA. All the usual reviewers have panned it as such. It's interesting though to share some shop experience. Most of the cards panned by critics are actually well received by our market. Like everybody hated online the 4060 Ti, and yet we just recently sold four rigs to one company specifically they requested for the 4060 Ti. We've had inquiries about it. It's hard to stock it because it's sold out. We haven't had a lot of inquiries yet for the 4060, but I'm kind of curious on how well received it will be here. So, hindi necessarily na narinig mo online o bulok to, pangit to. That might be technically true, but from the perspective of a consumer, especially the local Philippine consumer that might not follow what you see on the ground. Kumbaga, hindi naman talaga sumusunod yung consumer interest natin dun sa mga reviews. I mean, of course, you do have the enthusiasts that are very well-versed in the reviews and they know which cards to pick and things like that. But for a lot of people on the market, it boils down to price and brand recognition. Ah, yung NVIDIA. Ah, yung bago ng NVIDIA. Ah, kaya naman ng budget ko. Sige, yan kunin ko. Of course, even internationally, it's not like a lot of people have moved on to the 2000, 3000, 4000 series. In fact, in the latest Steam hardware survey for the second month running, the most popular GPU is the 1650, the very modest, humble 1650. Although I do have my own beef, a lot of people like reporting on the Steam hardware survey, but that is an opt-in survey. Steam doesn't publish results or doesn't count you in the data collection if you don't allow yourself to be counted. So I'm kind of wondering how much that skews in favor of certain builds. And really, the only other interesting tech news this week, the 5600 3D was announced. 
But it wasn't announced by AMD. It was announced by Micro Center, who apparently has exclusive distribution rights. And they will only be selling it physically, so no online sales. It's unclear whether they just have exclusive selling rights to just within the US. And if other people have it abroad, or if this is going to be a US exclusive CPU. The 3D architecture of AMD has proven itself to be quite a performance booster. So the popular Ryzen 7 5800X 3D, and they've also implemented it in the 7000 AM5 platform series. The 5600X 3D promises to be the cheapest implementation of this additional cache technology. And sort of like the final kick or the final living gasp of the AM4 platform. Although we've been talking about the death of AM4 for like maybe since last year or something, but it still keeps kicking along. We've had very brisk sales of the 5000 series. It's just a really great platform. Still good performance and good value for money. Especially now that the 7000 series has launched and it's a lot pricier. Motherboards are more expensive. You need to get DDR5, which even though RAM prices have declined, is still pricier than DDR4. So jumping on the AM5 bandwagon can be cost prohibitive. But you know, the AM4 platform is well established. The 5000 series is excellent. Personally, my end game upgrade would be to a 5800X 3D, but still saving up for it. Not sure if we will be getting the 5600X 3D here, but we would stock it if we could get it. That's really all the news that I found interesting for this week. I kind of enjoy these slow news weeks <laughs> and no need to belabor the podcast longer than necessary. Thanks so much for tuning in. Please do tune in again next week, every Friday, when a new episode of Tech Show But Friendly drops. Paminsan, may nagtatanong kung may kilala ba kaming computer shop na trusted yung hindi ka lolokohin. Actually, meron. Kami. Full service PC store ang hardware sugar. Nagbabenta kami ng PC components. Nagbabenta rin kami ng fully assembled rigs. We clean computers. Kasama na rin yung excellent table management namin and CPU cooler repasting sa cleaning. We also clean and repaste GPUs. Nasa Makati yung physical store namin and you can also buy from our site www.hwsugar.ph na 100% palaging up to date yung inventory dun. Kung in stock yung item sa amin, available yun sa site. We also ship nationwide. Thanks for watching and maybe one of these days magkita tayo sa shop.